Hiya, Malt Musings here, doing a little review for um, Malt and Mike and Friends show. Uh, let's see what we've got on the shelf. Um, Baines, Cape Mountain Whiskey. I don't know if you know this one. Um, it's a single grain, uh, made at the um, James Sedgwick Distillery in South Africa. A little place called Wellington, which is about 45 minutes up from Cape Town. I said it's single grain. Um, it's been matured in first fill bourbon casks for three years and then um, refilled into some new um, first fill bourbon casks for about another two years. So it's about five year old. It has been coloured, um, so I won't worry too much about that. You can see it leaves some lovely lines on the, uh, on the glass when swirled round. Quite slow legs. Immediately on the nose there's lots of vanilla, um, lots of toffee or butterscotch, uh, but there's also um, a citrus edge to it as well. So you're getting like um, orange peel. Loads of vanilla, loads of toffee. I think from that vanilla you can tell that it's a, um, a single grain. Now this one's at uh, 40%. Um, I think it was launched around about 2009. Um, first came to UK 2017. Um, I saw it first as, a, uh, as an import uh, where it was 43%, so a little bit stronger. This one's down to 40 As I remember, I don't think I was that keen on it back then. Um, but let's see what this one's like. So loads, loads of vanilla from the obviously the first of all bourbon casks. Being from South Africa, it's obviously a lot hotter there, so uh, matures a bit quicker as well. Toffee and that orange peel that I was talking about. Cheers. Well. That's really nice. So you, as you can tell, because the bottle's nearly uh, halfway down. Um, what you get from this is um, a slightly oily feel to start with on the palate, but then it's very smooth, and that uh, that tends to, um, to to roll over your tongue. There's spice all over the place. This is um, maybe cinnamon. Um, Maybe a little bit of cloves as well, but you get that that, that custard feel. As well, there's like there's like um, fresh custard um, and, and toffee all the way through that we got from the nose. It's just got a really long, warm finish as well. It's um, quite spicy, and you also get in again that toffee um, from the nose, from the palate, a bit of vanilla in there as well. Lovely dram. Now you can get this for about £25, which is about the same price as a, a Hay Clubman. Uh, and you know what I think of that. Tom stick lollies, that's what it is. And the palette. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, where's my face? So 40%, I wouldn't bother adding any water to it. Um, just nice and neat. It's probably a nice dram for a um, sunny summer afternoon, unlike today, but um, definitely worth getting your hands on a bottle. So this is, um, this is distilled by um, Andy Watts and his team in, uh, in Wellington, South Africa. I think Andy was made in the same mould as, uh, as Graham Cool, um, both very passionate about their whiskies. Uh, but also open um, to talk to uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, whatever. Um, really like getting involved with their customers. Nice tram. So, Baines, Cape Mountain Whiskey, single grain. Definitely worth getting if you can find it. See you later. Please click subscribe. It really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.